Yo, this your boy Double Up and I'm back with another uh, uh, banger And today I came to tap in about that boy DW Flame and Brick Baby falling out That boy Whack 100, he uh, supposedly, he already knew this was gonna happen man But before we start the video, I need you to like, comment, subscribe Yeah man, tap that like button man if you mess with me, let's get back. Let's get right into this content. I'm homie and stuff, basically trying to push the narrative of like, oh, they're fake friends. Brick was acting like he been cool with DW. You just like, this is whack was saying like, oh, you just met him the other day and like you ain't really cool with him like that. You was capping about being cool, etc. Uh, you know, D, uh, uh, damn homie trying to push the narrative of like, oh, he's scared of DW, etc. So it's like there's all these little voices pushing different ideas mm, i mean I, literally bro i mean a, like I, I laugh about it because you you have never seen me literally up here on no with nobody have you ever seen me like like you ain't really. never seen me give nobody no aggression for i haven't been around for any of that no like so and then I, that's because i respect the place i'm at too uh-huh and I don't, it, it ain't nobody who been in a position yet for me to have to really step like that. So if a is scared, that'd be on their own. Uh huh. You get what I'm saying? So, I mean, but I'm not faking and I ain't, and I ain't lying about nothing. So it, like I said, this shit, I step away from and uh -huh. keep my mouth closed. Like even when I, what I could tell you about whack though, the whack, he has a talent. Oh yeah. Bro, the Got a, he got a talent. He told me everything that was going to happen. Mm. How so? What did he tell you? Bro, he told me, you're going to get up there, right? You go, <laughs> this is what he said. You're going to get up there. Because mind you, when I was trying to get up here, I hit you, Bob. And mm -hmm. you was like, oh, yeah, well, is you cool with whack? Uh -huh. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm super with whack. Matter of fact, I'm better than good with whack. Mm -hmm. So I was just talking to whack, too. You feel me? And then I was like, uh, nigga, tell Adam, get me up there, too. Uh -huh. you feel me? Right, like, right now. Cool. He like, look, bro, this was gonna happen. You know, you you special, nephew. You know how you talk to you special. He like, you gonna get up there, and nigga, break gonna be uncomfortable. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, this ain't gotta be uncomfortable. Uh -huh. I'm coming just to do DW. Uh -huh. You feel me? He like that, but this how it's gonna happen. Uh -huh. And then and then he gonna try to do some. You gonna? He said after that that shit happened, he like now he gonna have to try to do something, nephew. Something gonna slip up right now, Bob. Right when he said it, it happened, Bob. He like. Then, when they put the pressure on me to uh -huh. have to do something, he like, don't even say nothing. The the nigga go, mind you, I'm just talking to Wack regular. This ain't no this ain't no plot. This is me just listening to Wack. Like, uh -huh. like yeah, you know, I'm talking. He just talking, and then he was like, you gotta go in there and say something. Go do the woo woo. I'm like, hey, I'm kind of chill. I'm kind of not so much. On he and Wack like, all right, nigga, you gonna look bad, nigga. Woo woo. <laughs> But he said Brick was going to crash. Mm. He said the nigga going to crash, nephew. Enter Kill Squad. Uh, he, that, yeah, yeah. So, so. <laughs> Man, I had to pause it real quick. Man, I want to know how you guys feeling about Brick Baby and um, DW Flame falling out. I really thought they was going to fall out, you know what I'm saying, after that one. And we, after he crashed out, I felt like they really wasn't homies like that, man. But we about to get right back into this content. But I want to know how you guys feeling. Drop it in the comments. Let's get back into it. So that's what I mean. That's what he said. Like, and then look, before I even when Brick walked in, cuz I didn't even get to get a word off to him. No, nobody did. Like, I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> you know, trying to say something to him. I'm like, you know, just want to have that poly or whatever the it would have been when he would have sat down and we would have, you know, uh, whatever. So, cuz everything was, I can't give you every detail, but Wack was giving me detail, bro, before this ain't. So, this ain't something he could have knew. Well, I could have knew with him. Mm -hmm. It's something he just knew. Mm -hmm. He said, he said, if I would have asked Brick one question, he would have started crashing out. He said, just, he said, matter of fact, nephew, you know what? Just ask the nigga one question when he come in. Like, nigga, what the f is this about? Like, what would he said, and let the nigga do the rest. What, what is what about? When, uh, about that video coming out. Okay. The See, recording. Because right. I haven't seen him since then, and that was going to be my first time seeing bro. Mm-hmm. You know, so I was finna holler at cuz, like, you know, really, cuz I didn't know what it was about. Like, bro, what the, like, what's really that, that, that about? Because if that's really how you feel about me, 
you know, then that's like we that's something we needed to confront. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And then he asked him if Gordy was gonna jump me. I was like, what the fuck? Wait, Brick said he was gonna jump you with Gordy. That's what this on the phone call. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Really? I missed that part. Come on. So now it looked like, know. and then I'm telling all the homies in the set who like, hey, what's up with the nigga Brick? I'm like, nah, cuh, cool. Like, we became cool after, you know, cuh, cool. Like, I'm like, we smooth. So the homies kind of was like, okay, cool. Like, not just the homies from the set, like, but everybody who my, you know, peoples. Like, all right, cuh, boom. But then when Brick did that, it just made me look like I'm on some weird shit. Like, you trying to be cool with niggas and this nigga the whole time, like, he was gonna jump you too, like, and then that was my first time hearing that. I'm like, come on, cuz, like, you know, be real. I'm not getting jumped by nobody in the world. Yeah. I never spotted that sort of energy. Never thought that that was even yeah. a possibility that anybody was thinking about anything like that. Yeah, yeah, and I, I mean, I- hold on, man. I had to pause it, man. That boy Adam Twenty Two, man. Yes, he content or die, man, because. D.W. Flame came out and talked about the genre and he was talking crap about uh, D.W. Flame, but for the content and them views, he gonna interview D.W. Flame to get them views. I mean, how you guys feel, man? Drop it in the comments, talk to me, man. Like this video, man. Let's get back into the content. Uh, and I'm thinking like, damn, cause y'all was gonna jump, cause I was thinking we was bros. I'm like, cause you wasn't, he wasn't gonna fire on me at all, because anyway, but okay, if we if we homies like you saying to the world, right? Then you ain't even gotta go back on that and say and try to make it seem like you was gonna do some gangster shit at all. When we already established niggas, you, niggas wasn't gonna do nothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you ain't gotta act hard. Well, because I'm not acting hard with you. Mm-hmm. You ain't even. I wasn't even acting hard when I did it. I'm like, yeah, because I try to whisper for a cigarette. And I shouldn't be smoking one. Okay. <laughs> and that's just how it came out And I apologize right there Bob. So there's no reason Because you need to act hard To niggas behind my back uh-huh. Like you was about to do something You, you get what I'm saying that. And to niggas who put you on blast after that mm. So at the end of the day Nigga I was your only friend well, out of that equation. <laughs> out of that equation is what I'm saying. Like, at the end of the day, I was your, because I hollered at you about it. Okay, we became on a cool note. But I'm like, uh, you know, and I'm I'm, I'm thugging. With, I'm, we thugging. So, could we walk anywhere, we outside is, you know, we outside. Uh-huh. So, once I get on a page like that with a nigga, that mean we stuck from there. Because that night, the Kill Squad night, was one of the craziest podcast clips ever to watch because... It was kind of weird. You could kind of like tell Brick wanted to keep it cool with you, but he's mad as fuck. He's tweaking. He said that he didn't have any lean or whatever, so he's like not really feeling like himself. But like you were kind of like the logical person for him to be mad at because he was mad about the idea of like basically his drama or his street shit getting discussed too much. And like you were kind of like the X factor in that. Like you had been on the pod like three nights in a row with that. Man, Adam Twenty Two always trying to act like he don't like the drama and the bull crap. Man, he canceled all them shows and still doing the same thing, stirring the pot. Man, how you guys feel, man? Drop it in the comments. He's a real sucker, man, to me. But let's get back into the content. That same topic kept getting brought up, which I understand him getting annoyed by the fact that it kept getting brought up. But if you're mad about that, it did kind of feel like you were the person to get mad at. But he didn't even look at you. He kind of like left it out. And so meanwhile, you're sitting there. He didn't look at uh, D.W. Flame because he's scared of D.W. Flame, bruh. If you can't see that, <laughs> hit on, well, Stevie Wonder could see that, man. Let's get back into this. And you like, you, you like rolling your eyes. It's like everybody's watching the clip, kind of like reading the body language of like, oh, damn, D.W. is not feeling this, but he don't really like want to like crack it open like that because Brick's just full th- and, and then the clip is over before it even starts it's like a couple he minutes already, long he was already in his full crash he was already in his full thud he already in there that nigga that, he telling people to come over there once once I seen what level he was on it yeah I, I just I just breathed on it let him let him do his thing mm. you know what I'm saying and then like I said everything fucking wax saying was like like I'm like how this nigga know like this was how Wack was saying it was gonna happen. Mm. Mm. He keep on he keep on saying like oh that nigga ain't this or ain't built like this or and he like this was gonna happen. Mm-hmm. He like the nigga gonna come on there and crash. 
Yeah, just ask one question and he gonna do the rest. Whack one hundred yeah. be known. That's exactly what Wax said. Sure. That is one of Brick's flaws as a podcaster. Slash, honestly, like kind of an attribute because it's caused him to go viral a bunch of times. But like, he will get on camera. He loved them viral moments. <laughs> Don't let him fool you. He loves it. Let's get back into it. And basically, wild out a little too much, Ooh. given who he is and what he's got going on. The Kill Squad moment and the Skulls Over Squabbles moment both stand out to me as like, oh, he lets himself get a little too into the deep end a little too quickly yeah. and say things that maybe you shouldn't say. And the thing is, every, and I go break right here. Look, oh, shit. The, and the thing is, that's what's going on. Hey, I'm coming up there for my bird. <laughs> <laughs> and here you, here you have it. <laughs> Hey, hey. What's hey, up? Hey, hey, Brick. Hey, hey, Brick. Yeah. Tell, hey, tell, the, tell these niggas that. Tell these niggas keep my name. got you. Tell these niggas keep my name out their mouth, nigga. Hey, God please, damn. dude, because it took me two weeks of not being able to tell y'all that this shit been a game the whole time. We got y'all. Me and DW still rocking in his music and all type of content coming. It's my brother. And congratulations on that new baby, nigga. Like I've been texting you. You already know, nigga. Appreciate it, Kyle. <laughs> what the? watching No Jumper the Soap Opera, nigga. Let's go. Man, this nigga, <laughs> something wrong with this nigga, though, man. They be really like stirring up stuff to make content. It's crazy. Like fake beefing and all that crap, man. That stuff ain't cool, bro. Like. <sighs> Whatever, bro. Let's get back into the content. Oh, with who? Adam? No. You, no, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I lost it. Something wrong with this nigga. Yeah, you about to squabble Adam. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to squabble Adam right before, <laughs> right when he walked in with his guard dog. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I brought Ralphie for you today. Yeah. I'll I hit, I, I hit you in a minute, though. <laughs> All right, like, whack has been on. All right, man. That's the end of that, man. I want to know how you guys feel, man. These guys just be playing the internet. For the go viral, man. I thought they was really into it. I don't know if they really into it. DW Flame seemed like he more solid than Brick Baby. I don't know neither one. So I really can't tell you. But I want to know how you guys feel, man. Drop it in the comments. Let me know how you guys feeling. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, I'm out.